We're at the D3O booth today. We're going to be talking about some of their armor, and as you know, it makes some of the lightest and most comfortable armor that I've worn. And uh, we're going to be talking about some of their anti-vibration technology, and there's a demo going here, so we'll ask more about it. So how long have you guys been working on this technology? Is it fairly new to the market? And yeah, it's, it's fairly new. So this is, like I say, we've got it in a few different forms. So the demonstration that we've got here is using a, a foam version. So this is called our Aeromax foam. And um, what this demonstration here is really showing the, com the difference between our foam, which is the orange one, uh, and then a traditional EVA foam on the right here, and the, its ability to manage vibration much better than a traditional foam does. Um, so in addition to the foams here, we also have the same anti-vibration technology captured as what we call like an injection molded material that can be used in grips. So here we've got these new um, Moto grips which we launched with our partner brand ODI. Um, and we also have a, a mountain bike version as well. But essentially these are, these are material almost lost almost, it. <laughs> almost. Uh, These are material compounds that we have that we can use to manage vibration. And then particularly on the foam side, um, we've also looked at basically every touch. Sorry, I'm just going to keep watching this. but. Um, yeah. Basically, we've got all the different touch points. So gloves, palm padding. We've also got some insoles footwear on the other side yep. here as well. So just trying to basically manage vibrations at every touch point that you have right. um, to increase comfort and reduce fatigue. Yeah. And that's and that's thing, one thing I've noticed. When you, when you have a, a lot of vibrations, it can cause that kind of uncomfortable buzzing in the hands. And yeah. if you have carpal tunnel, if you're prone yeah. to that stuff, this can make it significantly worse. So if you're doing a lot of touring, a lot of time in the saddle, this vibration reduction could be something that you should think about, especially in the feet if you have a buzzy motorcycle. And I mean, I've ridden some single cylinder once you get up to uh, yeah. those higher RPMs, you really feel that the, the buzzing in the hands. Sure. But yeah, you can see the difference here. There's just so much less splash on the D3O side compared to the uh, the regular foam side. 